France is a hospitable country that is part of the EU. It is known and popular among tourists, but what is so remarkable about it? What is France famous for? The area of France is 643,801 square kilometers, which makes it the largest country in Western Europe. It also ranks first among countries in terms of the number of time zones. She has 12 of them, thanks to the preserved colonies in different parts of the world. There are slightly less than 11 time zones in Russia and the USA. In 2018, 93 million people visited France, which is why it became the leader in the number of foreign tourists. And Paris is a favorite of travelers among other cities in the world. France is recognized as the capital of high fashion. The first house was founded by Charles Frederick Worth in 1858. Coco Chanel and Christian Dior have lived in Paris for a long time and created clothing and perfume brands. And Chanel No. 5 is the most famous perfume in the world. Here, in the 12th century, Gothic art was born, which then spread throughout Western Europe. In the middle of the 18th century, the Rococo style appeared, and in 1917 a new word, surrealism, was heard. France is among the top three wine producers, along with Italy and Spain. Mont Blanc, which rises in the Alps, is the highest point in Western Europe. Its height is equal to 4,810 meters. And at the foot is the largest glacier in France, 7 kilometers. Beautiful places and sights of France The symbol of France, the Eiffel Tower, 300 meters, is divided into three floors, which can be reached by elevator or on foot by stairs. The first floor is covered with a glass floor and creates a sharp impression. There is an observation deck on each floor, which accommodates a limited number of visitors. The Côte d'Azur, or French Riviera, covers the territory from the city of Bandel to the border with Italy. The Côte d'Azur combines an exceptional climate, the simultaneous presence of the Mediterranean Sea and the Alpine Mountains. It borders the Southern Alps, whose peaks reach 3,000 meters above sea level, and offers beautiful landscapes and panoramas. And the city of Cannes stands out for its annual International Film Festival, which was born in 1946 and has gained worldwide fame. The city of Annecy. It is famous for its snow-capped mountains and the cleanest lake in Europe, Annecy. There are sandy and grassy beaches along the shore, scuba diving and kayaking on the lake are popular. The winding cobbled streets of Vieilleville in the Old Town are lined with pastel houses and bright flower boxes. A popular place for photographers, Il Palace, built in the 12th century, works as a museum of local lore. The Claude Monet Garden in Giverny is divided into two parts, the Clos Normand Flower Garden and the Japanese Water Garden. Fruit or ornamental trees dominate over climbing roses, long-haired reeds and colored annuals. Monet mixes simple flowers, daisies and poppies, with rare varieties. And in the water garden there is a famous Japanese bridge, which is surrounded by wisteria, weeping willows, bamboo forest and nymphs blooming all summer. The Pont du Gard Aqueduct. In the southwest of France, you can see the highest dune in Europe. The uniqueness of this place is characterized by its large size and impressive panorama. To this are added its shapes and colors, which are constantly changing, creating a sense of immensity and freedom. French dishes are the standard of elegant and refined cuisine, which is widely appreciated by gourmets all over the world. The traditionally recognizable French dish, frog legs, refers to delicacies and is served in few restaurants. The popular onion soup appeared on the French menu during the Roman Empire. The second dishes that are worth trying in restaurants, coco vin, galantine and ratatouille. Coco vin means cock in wine. Galantine is a filling dish of minced chicken with the addition of eggs and spices. Ratatouille is based on a mixture of vegetables and spices, which impress with simplicity and versatility. 
The French, recognized as masters of the confectionery industry, delight both adults and children with culinary desserts, meringue, eclairs, cream brulee, pasta and profiteroles, which are often brought as a souvenir. Profiteroles. Useful trifle. This is how the name of this popular dessert can be translated from French. Their invention is attributed to the French chef Jean Avis, who in 1760 began baking small rolls from custard dough, choux. If you fill them with sweet cream, you will get a profiterole. Profiteroles are sold in almost every French pastry shop. Here you can also find other varieties of choux buns with and without stuffing. The filling does not have to be sweet. As a filler, both meat pate and cottage cheese mousse are suitable. In the sweet version, not only custard is used, but also chocolate mousse or ice cream. Tower of Profiteroles The Pyramid of Profiteroles was invented by a student of Jean Avis, the legendary chef Antonin Karam. In his recipe, individual cakes were fastened together not with chocolate, but with caramel. Ingredients for profiteroles 100 ml of milk 100 ml of water 90 g butter 120 g flour 3 eggs 1 protein a pinch of salt white chocolate for custard 100 g granulated sugar 2 raw egg yolks 20 g flour vanilla flour on the tip of a knife 20 g of starch 200 ml of milk for the filling 300 g custard 200 g butter 180 g condensed milk 1 teaspoon vanilla sugar for sugar lipstick 10 g of sugar 35 5 milliliters of water food coloring stages of preparation. For profiteroles, milk, salt, water and butter are brought to a boil. Fill the flour, stirring, brew the dough. Remove from the heat, transfer to a bowl for a mixer and whisk. Without stopping whipping, we introduce eggs and protein one at a time. We continue to beat until the dough is elastic and homogeneous. We put the dough in a pastry bag and put balls out of it on a silicone mat. Bake in the oven, preheated to 200 to 220 degrees C for 20 to 30 minutes. We cool the finished profiteroles a little. For the custard, rub half of the sugar with the yolks, add starch, flour and mix. Mix the remaining sugar with milk and vanilla, bring to a boil. Pour one third into the yolks, mix and pour back. Continue to cook, stirring until thickened, then remove from heat. For the filling, beat the butter with condensed milk white. Add the finished custard and vanilla sugar. We transfer the finished filling into a pastry bag and fill them with cream through the base of the profiteroles. For sugar fudge, we pour sugar into hot water. Bring to a boil and remove the foam. Cover with a lid and boil the syrup to 114 degrees C. Remove the finished syrup from the heat and put it in a bowl with cold water. Quickly cool to 30 degrees C. Add food coloring. We glaze the profiteroles on top with lipstick. White chocolate is melted in a water bath. From profiteroles we lay out a tower, gluing them together with melted white chocolate. Subscribe to the channel and put likes. Do not miss the new video.